All right, it is Monday night, just a casual Monday night, and Logan and Beckham go to Cal Ranch. Yeah, and we got some duck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And they're gone for a while, which is a little sus, a little suspicious. And they're down, they go downstairs right away and won't tell me what's going on. Beckham keeps saying that they have a surprise, but he can't tell me what's going on. What did you guys just do? Um, we set it up a cage for a chicken. You set up a cage for a chicken, okay, but what did you guys get? Chickens. Chickens? Yeah. How many birds? Yeah. How many chickens? Chickens. Um, chickens? Like four almost. Say buy three, get one free. Um, buy three, get one free. Four baby chickens? Yeah! See, four chickens? Yeah. Four chickens. Yeah. Dad said it's for these guys' birthday present. Yeah. I think we've got you guys enough birthday presents. Why? I'm having mixed feeling about this. They've got overalls, they're farmers now. <laughs> yeah, we're farmers now. We have chickens in our basement. I don't know how to feel about this. We'll show you guys. Our new chickens! We're gonna name them. Tell them what your idea was for the first one. Can we name one Figaro? Because I always wanted a cat named Figaro. We each get a name one. We each okay. get one chicken. Okay, my chicken's name is Figaro. That can tell her what you use one. What's your chicken's name? Nugget. Oh, that is cute. Okay, we have Nugget and Figaro. Yeah, and what Dad, is your Dad, what's your chicken's name? I've got to bond with my chicken first. Okay. I might. He might hang up out upstairs with me tonight. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I'm feeling better about my decision. I think his name Why? is Nugget. Are we going back down? I gotta give them their probiotic water. Okay, so come meet our chickens, guys. Oh yeah. my gosh, I cannot. Just a random Monday night. Careful, go slow down the stairs. They're in our unfinished basement, but we got them a little, or they got them a little heat lamp. Got water and food. Yeah. Be so nice. Oh my. I think there's... that one's dad's right there with the white spot on his head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then that one is the man with the white spot on. Actually, dad wants, so this chicken is, these are Borland Rock. Something. I want the one with like kind of. I want that one with kind of the white on his feathers, the white wings. That one? Yeah. That's, that's an eagle. That's an Easter egg. -er. So they lay blue, green, and purple oh, eggs. Oh, that's mine for sure then. Okay, that's that's mommy's chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that one is mine too, and and it eggs Easter eggs. The Brooks, leave their food alone. Their Be very spider. gentle. You guys need a drink? Oh my god. The water's gonna be right here. Yeah, They're and just so scared and nervous right now. They'll be used to it. We went for cowboy boots. Well, yeah. I want this one. Do you want the one with the most black on his face? Yeah. Okay. Hey, he's I want, oh, he's hiding. Yeah, he's want, always, yes. they are trying to hide. All right, so that's our chickens. Let's let them cool down. Yeah, yeah. back. Put them back. In. Let's go upstairs and think of mornings and let them get used to their new home, okay? Okay, everybody They're upstairs. They're scared and nervous. Yeah, yeah and they like a Okay, yep. let's go upstairs. Let them be. <laughs> Come on, Maria. Yeah, they have everything they need. They have Good luck, little guys. <laughs> we even sprung for the for the probiotics. <laughs> he said is it something helps that them they survive. Need? Yeah. I have no idea <laughs> about chickens. <laughs> Never done this before. They want some. Okay, leave them alone. Okay, okay everybody, everybody upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Ah! We just watched a chicken video on how to care for them. And one of the tips to keep them alive was to make sure they know where their water is at and literally like dipping their little beaks into their water yes. so that they know where to find it. <laughs> so, they're actually tricking it though. Logan is helping them dip their head in a little beak so that they know where their water's at. They've all been baptized. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna move your water right here. Is your water here. okay guys? I'm gonna redip them. <laughs> I am gonna Dad is going to make you drink out. your water. <laughs> this is Bunsies. Yeah, and the one with the back here is just my Good drink. drinking. <laughs> Look at yours. Yours can go drink on its own. Mine's gonna be thriving. Who drinks water? Who drink? Yep. Yep, yeah. that I did. And then it just go back. <laughs> we are going to make sure these baby chickens are hydrated. Yeah. Good drinking. <laughs> Alright, going along. Mine is the smallest for sure. Okay, 
Come on upstairs. They're stressed out tonight. Come on. A few days later, and we still have baby chickens. <laughs> the funny thing is, if you know Logan and I, this is like nothing crazy for us. Like, we love stuff like this. We both love like caring for little things like this and like love little animals like this. And so, this is nothing crazy for us, but I just can't believe that we actually have baby chickens living with us. <laughs> Monday night, that night when they got them, Logan just like walked in the door with a big tub. Did not say a word. Like I just thought it was an empty tub and he went straight downstairs and then they were down there for a while and I'm like, what are they doing? Neither of them said a thing. And then Beckham told me that it was a secret when I finally asked what is going on. And sure enough, here are a few little cheeps and chirps. <laughs> And we had four baby chickens! It's been really fun though. The boys are absolutely, where are they at? There's Brixie. They are absolutely obsessed. Huh. We've been learning how to be very gentle. And Brooke says, one finger, one finger. And he'll just like touch them on the head. And Beckham has been asking me 50 times a day to go down and see these chickens. If I let him, he would sit down there all day with them, but they're fun. We love them, they're a part of the family now. They're all named. Logan got everything that they needed that night. For now, they'll live downstairs um, for like six to eight weeks and then we will move them to our backyard. And luckily, our backyard actually works out really well for them and Logan said that's the only reason why he did get them is because we kind of do have like a perfect little setup for them and we will also buy them like a big hutch that, they, that we will put back there also, but I'll show you our yard. The people that lived in this house before us basically gated off like half of the yard. We have a pretty good sized yard and they put a fence almost right in the middle of it. So it kind of splits it in half. And that back area that was gated was just like a huge garden area and we don't garden. So for the past few years, we've just had to keep, try to keep like all the weeds down and try to keep it cleaned up. We would plant grass back there, but there's no sprinkler lines back there. So it will be the perfect spot for them because it's all gated and closed off. We are working on adjusting the dogs to the chickens as well. So they will not bother them, but they will be again, like sectioned off in a gated area. So I'll show you guys. I think it will actually work out pretty well. Here's like our yard and then all this gated part it's just like all sectioned off and we don't ever do anything with it. Obviously there's some stuff we need to get rid of back there but also have a hutch in this back corner over here so they can have some like protection and we can keep them totally separate if we need to but we've been watching a lot of YouTube videos learning how to care for them. Murphy is very curious but he's a good listener but we've been letting him like get used to them so that later as the chickens grow we don't have anything to worry about and he won't harm them. And Walker is just scared of them already. So if he's scared of the tiny baby chicks, there's no way he's messing with them when they get bigger. You wanna go see chickens? Yeah. You do? They love them. Should we go show them? Yeah. Okay. Let's go show them. Let's go see Let's go the show chickens them. again. Let's go show them. So here, they're under their little lamp, scratching around. There's our babies. Yep, but they got some sugar. They've got their sugar. water that we need to clean out. They yeah. constantly get their bedding in it. Um, and yeah, then we have, okay, Figaro. Barry, we've been practicing, huh? Yes, that's mommy's chicken, Figaro. Yeah. Okay, very gentle down. Good. We are trying to get them used to the kids because they're going to grow up with these guys, so everyone's getting used to each other. <laughs> we put Brooke's, like, baby monitor in there, and we just constantly check on them from our phone. Careful. Okay, very soft. Good. There's Figaro again. Yeah, there was Figaro. Yeah, he's so cute, Figaro. Hi. Okay, put her down. Put her down. There you go, Figaro. We have Figaro is the light one. Figaro, and Nadia, and Dina, and Nick, and Susan. Susan. <laughs> but yeah, they'll be in here for like another six to eight weeks, so we won't have to worry about too much for a while they'll just be in here until it gets warm outside and it'll, and it will actually be like perfect timing for them to go outside when it starts getting warm here's susan come here susan hi susan yeah this is daddy's susan yeah hi susan <laughs> That's susan she has white on her head Okay, yeah, gentle. There's a nugget. Then we have, who else? We had Susan, Figaro, Peanut, and, oh wait, Susan. I have to see their heads. That was... That's Susan, that's Peanut, that's Nugget, and that's Figaro. Becca <laughs> loves these chickens. Yeah, I Very gentle, Figaro. huh? That was yeah, there's Figaro. Figaro. 
Yep. Okay, put her down. Put her down. There's Nugget. Oh. Oh. That, that. That's my good <laughs> That's Peanut. Susan. No, yeah. Susan's right there. <laughs> but they've been eating yeah. and drinking really well, which is a good sign. Peanut. Hi, Peanut. Yep, that is Peanut. Yeah, this is Peanut. <laughs> okay, put her down. <laughs> okay, got everyone upstairs. But we have a lot of fun things going on this week. It is a busy week. Tomorrow we have our family pictures. So I've been excited for those. I think they're going to turn out so cute. We're doing like a little studio session, just really like casual jeans. Brooks has the cutest pair of overalls. I'm so excited. Can I put my tie-dye shirt on? Yes, Becca made a tie-dye shirt at school. Watch them. Yeah, you, this is my tie-dye shirt. Ooh. Tell them what is on Sunday. What's on um, Sunday? Yeah. Your birthday. On Sunday yeah, is my birthday. Sunday is Beckham's birthday. Then Monday is Brooke's birthday. If you guys remember, they are only one day apart. They're like exactly two years apart. March 17th and March 18th. So we have a lot of stuff planned for this weekend. Saturday, we are going to Disney on Ice. I bought the tickets back in like September. I'm very excited to take them. Then Sunday is Beckham's birthday and also their birthday party with like friends and family. We are going bowling on Sunday. And then Beckham will take treats to his class. Then we'll do something fun on Monday for Brooks. So right now, what do we need to go order right now? Um, my birthday cake. Your oh, birthday yeah. cake. Um, what kind of party are we doing? Um. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. I yeah. ordered some decorations, some yeah. balloons, some plates, yeah. and tablecloth. Are you excited? Yeah. It'll be so fun. But yeah, I'm gonna have a four-year-old and a two-year-old. I literally can't believe it, but we gotta get to the store. We're gonna go order their birthday cake. You guys look how cute though. <laughs> this is the camera, the baby camera that we put in there with them. It's just like funny to see what they are doing. And then we can just always check on them on our camera. We just had our family photos. <laughs> that we will not be doing that again until Brooks is at least two years older. He is just a wild, wild boy. Courtney, our photographer, she's so good. She just like knows that that's how kids are. But like running around the studio, would not sit down, throwing fits, like throwing himself on the ground. It was literally just supposed to be like a quick 30 minute thing, like just like a mini session, like a little mini family studio session and I think it went for about an hour and a half. I was sweating, sweating. Just trying to like get both kids. Beckham, Beckham did so good, especially the very beginning. He was so good and he was listening, but Brooks is just a free spirit, could not care less what others want him to do type of kid. It was just wild. He is just his own little person, but we got family photos done. I can't wait to see them. We haven't had our family photos actually done in so long. My sister took some when Brooks was just a few months old of like some family ones for us, but we have not had like someone take our family pictures in a long time. So um, we got it done. We'll see how they were, but it, that was a little bit exhausting. The boys are asleep, but I just came in the bathroom and I thought this was so funny. This is the aftermath of getting ready for family pictures. We were running around like crazy, running late, what's new, you know. This was me trying to finish my grilled cheese and orange before taking pictures. And just like the most random stuff everywhere. Like all my lashes are out, my makeup is everywhere. This is the aftermath when you're in a hurry to get to family pictures. 
All right, good morning guys. It is Friday. Me and Brooks just got Beckham to school. Logan ran into work a little bit earlier today because he knew that we had a fun weekend. So he just wanted to be caught up on all of his work stuff and not have to worry about it. We have the Disney on ice that we are going to tomorrow. We're going to make a fun day out of it for the boys for their birthday. I can't remember if I already talked about this. And then Monday is Brooke's birthday. So that will all be in the next video. Stay tuned for that one. We'll have like a big birthday weekend video. We are running a couple of errands right now because I have a few <laughs> returns that I need to go make from Amazon and actually a couple other places because since we did our family photos on such short notice, I kind of panicked on what everyone was going to wear. <laughs> I think I ordered like four or five pairs of overalls for Brooks because I'm like, I have to find the right ones. Like I have to find the right size. I have to find the ones that we like. And so I ordered him like four or five pairs. Luckily the one Wrangler pair I got him though off Amazon were literally perfect. But, and then I also have like, I ordered quite a few different pairs of jeans that I need to take back. So I'm like, I'm not keeping all of these. So I have some returns and then Brooks and I are running to Walmart really quick because there's just a few little things that Beckham keeps like picking out at Walmart that I I wasn't letting him get. They're just a few little things that we'll get him for his birthday. We're not getting the boys too much honestly because they just got their new Nike shoes, the Disney on ice, and then the birthday party that we just paid for. So it's actually like quite a lot but they just don't have like physical presents to open but that's fine we're making memories but I do want him to have just like a little something to open up on his birthday and it's just like a few little like random things that he wanted at Walmart so we're gonna go grab those okay Brooks is that okay I didn't know I was doing all this right now and so I didn't even get Brooks like fully dressed he's basically in pajamas and his jacket but I'm like Let's just go get this stuff done because I don't want to run out of time and then have to go get Beckham and then not be able to do this. So let's go do our errands today. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? What are you holding? Uh, uh <laughs> Do you know what this is called? Can you guys see what he's holding? <laughs> Hold it up. Let me see. Hold it up. Wow. What is that? <laughs> What you got? <laughs> Yesterday before family pictures, I was like, Mom, do you have a clothes iron? I don't have one. And I was like running around and then I got stopped behind a train and then I did not even end up using her iron. <laughs> also, I told my mom, I was like, I've never used one of these before. Is that so weird? I've never owned a clothes iron and I've never actually used one and she was laughing at me but I didn't even end up using hers so we should take that back too. Okay a little bit later Beck how was school today? Good. And he made a big mess around school and if you get the yabakai you'll get a big high worth of gold holding dark your goats but if you didn't get them he will just give you a, a, a little bowl of candy what so you got candy did you guys catch him no yeah i i didn't catch the yabakai <laughs> the yabakai didn't come to our house <laughs> and we were doing songs and i was there and uh, and the school did gas and we heard a noise when yeah. we were doing science and they heard somebody stop the music and it was a teacher and <laughs> we Did the leprechaun put glitter in your hair? Yeah! Miss Whitney did. She did? Yeah. I love that. You had such the a fun day? The leprechaun is sneaky and fast. He is. I don't think anyone has ever and caught that. him before. Yeah. That is such a fun day. You had a good day? He had a yeah. good day. They did St. Patrick's Day stuff today. Yeah. And the uh, and, uh, yabaka and made a big mess outside. We only we cleaned it up inside. Yeah. Silly leprechaun, huh? Yeah. Yeah, bam! Yeah. Leprechaun! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Found some birthday stuff at Walmart for the boys. It's actually like perfect timing because their birthday is so close to Easter that they have a bunch of like the little random like toys and candy and like, just some fun stuff that you guys will see in the next video. I got them each a, a birth bag. Huh. And Brooks was absolutely covered in chocolate donut. In Walmart, a lady walks by and she goes, that's fun. <laughs> As Brooks is just like 
covered in his second chocolate donut. I'm like, yeah, it is. Hi. I know, he wants, he's trying to take me outside. It's such a nice day that we're gonna go outside and play, huh? Do you want to? Yeah! Okay, okay. Let me, let me eat a donut really quick and then we'll go outside, we'll get socks and shoes on, okay? I think I'm going to end this vlog <gasps> here and then we will see you guys for their whole birthday vlog and it'll be so much fun. Are you excited? Yeah! Okay, all right, thank you guys for watching this video and we will see you guys in the next one. He's gonna try to take me outside right now. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. Okay, we wanted to give you guys a quick update as I was editing the video because it is now Sunday, almost two weeks. Tomorrow will be, they get their water so dirty. Tomorrow will be two weeks since we got them on that random Monday night. There you go, Peanut. And we have to show you guys how big they are already after two weeks. And look at their feathers coming in. Put some food you guys see head. their feathers and how big they are already? This is two weeks. You wanna feed them out of your hand? Look how big they are. <laughs> They're getting all of their feathers. Peanut right here, she's huge. <laughs> she is such a big chicken that we're almost afraid that she's going to be a rooster. And Beckham, so what happened to Nugget? Can you tell us? I um, see what first, oh, I was going to go with Cindy, but he's already Cindy now. Okay, so you changed Nugget's name to Cindy. To Cindy. <laughs> and we have an Aunt Cindy, right? Yeah. So we, is she named after Aunt Cindy? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Nugget is no longer Nugget. Beckham renamed her to Cindy randomly one day. So we have Cindy, Susan, Peanut, and Figaro over there. <laughs> And Cindy is a little pecker. She, ah, she makes me nervous. Beckham I thinks it's funny. Is she nice, huh? We have a feeling that Nugget or Cindy is also might be a rooster. We don't know if they're boys or girls yet. But um, if they're roosters, we can't have them in city limits. But these two almost give off rooster vibes a tiny bit. Or maybe they're just very dominant. I don't know. I guess we'll see. But there's a chicken update. They are so big. Here's Peanut. I just snatched her. She's so big compared to the rest of them. Oh, sweet girl. You're so cute. But there's our chickens. They're so big already. I still have food I want to play.